Hello and welcome to my jersey review of the 2018-19 La Liga season. As you can see, I make this all La Liga back here as much as I can. A little more Spanish look than before. There are a few La Liga jerseys that I have, unfortunately not that many, and we will look at them right after. But um, I will say let's get right to it. Don't waste too much time. And we have a few teams to cover. There will be four in this first part. And we will start off with Alaves, a small Basque club, one might say. I will still consider them a small club, but remember in 2001 they made it to the uh, Europa League, back then UEFA Cup final, where they lost to Liverpool in a glorious, I think it was 5-4 after overtime, on a golden own goal they lost. And yeah. They have a very traditional looking home jersey with white with blue stripes made by Kelme, Spanish manufacturer. But if I look at this one, it has just a few quirks that I don't like. First of all, look at the stripes, how they get thinner towards the bottom. This is a design that Barcelona had, uh, I think around 2010, 2011, that I already don't like. Then similar to the New Balance, there's a weird stripe here uh, going away from the collar along the shoulders. That, just doesn't make too much sense and then uh, uh, they copy Nike with the backside of the collar it's just a little bit too much if they would go just for classic striping that's fine I like the Kelme logos here on the uh, shoulders that's nice also um, the other thing is that the Alaves crest has a little bit of a lighter blue than uh, the overall jersey but I think that I mind least also that the sponsor is on a white shield um, yeah, while not the best solution, I think it works here uh, to make it better legible. I just wish it was in blue. Um, and on the back side, we have, of course, a very blue shield just for the numbers, which makes it odd if you just wear it by itself. That's, uh, for me, always a downside, but at least that's the Basque flag, so it's from the Basque com country. And yeah, those white stripes on the back, uh, the thin ones, also seem a little bit unnecessary and the spawns on the back this is how I would imagine the spawns on the front with blue yeah I think there's a little bit too much going on with five stars it is the traditional kit but it tries too much uh, special things here so I don't like that the away kit though has an interesting twist yes it is green which is definitely not a club color and you see that actually the crest gets a little bit lost on there with its blue and white tones however the green with the red accents that's from the Basque country flag which we have here and also on the back of the shirt so that is a nice touch to connect to your region you see but I see too much red and white popping up all over the place again the template is not a great one uh, that's what I don't mind. I actually find the color choice quite nice. Maybe you could have done um, a white monochromatic version here and uh, it would look much better. Also like, you know, the pattern on front, it's kind of this triangular pattern. Uh, like a little bit of weave in there. It's It really looks in, it's interesting to look at. It gives the jersey some structure. But yeah, uh, overall it's again, the temple is a mess and therefore I Despite me liking some elements, I cannot go higher than five here. It is average, but not, but not definitely not great, and so on. And then they have a third jersey, and that one is actually the best looking of them. Again, uh, the weird red, this kind of forms an M with the V-neck and then the shoulder striping. Then the collar is all kinds of uh, white, um, yeah, red and white with a little bit of green. I mean, it's all in there. Uh, but uh, I like the green sleeves on the white base, but again the sponsor colors are off. Uh, they are black on the front, blue on the back, and then you have again the blue crest. I think here again, make it, I hate monochromatic crest, but there's anyway not too many colors on an Alaves jersey, so I think it would make sense to just make, make it green or make it red or something like that, and this could look very nice. Uh, this one is the better looking one, or the best looking one of the three, so I actually want to give it the best grade, and I will go, I would go even seven, despite all this weird striping around the collar. Now we're gonna go to two big teams. 
first one, Atletico de Madrid. Uh, if you were waiting for Athletic Bilbao, I decided to put them in the second part because I usually refer to them as Bilbao and Athletic Bilbao, hence. They get a little bit dropped down the alphabet, but I think it's uh, worth it because we have already two huge teams in this first part. And Atletico Madrid, yep, Nike is messing here. Nike is messing here. I saw this already uh, last May. And I, I don't know. I don't know. They already had a crazy jersey last season where all the white stripes were uh, broken with diagonal um, lines. And this one is kind of, we start with um, five red stripes on top and four in the middle. And then it gets inverted with kind of a crossfade, which is made with uh, spikes. Uh, I mean, the good thing is that the sponsor is there in the middle, kind of distra uh, dis distracting you from how the stripes fade into each other. But it's a weird look. It looks great on top. It looks great on bottom. It's just this middle section. Blah. I get epileptic uh, around it. This is a true mess up. And then... Uh, but that one is actually not that bad. Uh, you have this little fade of the red stripes into blue. That one is something that could work. I mean, if there was a little bit of a color gradient in there, let's say you have a very um, bright red on the top, and then you get darker and darker and darker, and it fades into blue, I think this could actually look nicer. But yeah, for the second season in a row, Nike is messing with Atletico Madrid's kit. And I'm not... No. I don't like it at all. It's epilepsy inducing and yeah. What stops me from dishing out the worst possible grade here is that the top looks like a classic kit. But no, no. You cannot reward this. I'm gonna give this one star. I really gotta give this one star despite there are a few things that I like, but you cannot do this. It's just messing up too much with me. Epilepsy. It's ah, cannot look at it. Let's let's move on. The away jersey. I'm not going to even look at the back of the home jersey. The away jersey. Yeah, that one is smart. Not the greatest, but that one looks smart. I mean, it's uh, the light blue tone. Then the sponsor is in red. Then uh, even the crest that it's not monochromatic, but the full color crest with red. This makes for a nice away kit. Uh, and you know, blue is in the color scheme for Atletico Madrid. So I actually, yeah, this one's okay. Is it exciting? No, it's not no, all exciting. Could they do something more? Of course they could. Uh, a lot more can be done. Um, if I look on the back, it's also very plain. That's just the Spanish flag, which is also on the home jersey, um, showing it now. Yeah. If I look on the away jersey, let's look at the front again. I like actually the uh, the, um, the darker blue stripes. Mm, yeah. It's better than the Alaves kits and it uses the template nicely. I think I give the six stars. It's nothing uh, crazy good, but uh, at least it's a, a kit that you can look at and doesn't look too horrible. Well, sorry, Atletico Madrid. I actually think that you have a great shot at winning this year's La Liga, but the look is not good. I'm sorry. Sorry. Well, I said already, Atletico Madrid is probably my personal pick of winning La Liga, although everything starts and stops, I think, with Barcelona, which we're looking at here. Another Nike kit. Uh, and, you know, Barcelona is favored in La Liga and also to win the Champions League. Uh, despite having some quite some losses on their squad, I think uh, they have been stronger and more convincing Barcelona sides. But yeah, the new Barcelona kit um, has a striped concept that, yeah, we would expect, but very, very thin stripes. Um, I overall like it. I just wish that the stripes were about, yeah, two or three times wider. Then it would be an absolute awesome Barcelona kit. But these thin stripes, I'm not sure if Barcelona ever had such thin stripes in the history. As of late, I mean, the typical Barcelona striping is this Barcelona shirt that we'll look at uh, later. Has broader stripes in the Blaugrana. At least here also the blue stripe is the center, which is uh, often not the case as of late. 
especially the Champions League winning kit on the back in the day, he had just such a classic look and then they have the red stripe in the center. Sorry about that. Well, uh, overall I actually do like it. If I look at the back, yeah, it makes actually sense with the, you know, the taping should of course be the Catalan flag. They didn't change anything on the lettering style and it's all striped on the back. I'm sure the European competition will not be that way. And uh, La Liga has since last year a standard font, which I actually, despite everyone hating it, I actually like it. Uh, I, it's, it's nothing exciting. It should be exciting, but it has its own character and that's one I like. And of course you have the UNICEF on the back. It should be on the front. Yeah, that's the one thing on the front. Why is the sponsor not yellow? They keep making the sponsor in white. I thought white is the color of your rival back there. So that one is a little bit crazy, especially if you can consider that the letters on the back have been for quite a while in yellow, just because of that. Also, look at the U, Rakuten of the sponsor. What's wrong with the lettering here? That's, I don't know. Well, it's not the most classic Barcelona look, but the jersey in itself, I think, looks all right. And for that, I am willing to give it um, eight stars. What I don't like that they wear the dark shorts like in the early 2000s, where you see also this jersey, there's this darker blue, and then they had the dark shorts with it, which was a look that I never understood, and they're repeating it here. Uh, but again, I'm not grading this look. And then the away jersey actually does what's... I was hoping they would do again. I mean, it was the last time around 10 years ago that they had this neon yellow shirt. Barcelona doesn't have an established away kit and they always choose the most impossible colors for their away kit. In this case, it's the neon yellow is one of the more classic ones. I think if they would choose a little bit more, uh, less garish yellow, it would look better. But I think this kit actually looks great. I just don't like the neckline with the, you know, the dark blue and then it looks like a full color here but what i like is the stripes on the sleeves in blaugrana that are kind of a little bit paintbrush on it other than that it's kind of just plain uh, this garish color to uh, blind you in in a way they had a better version of the the great barcelona team that won in 2008 they had actually a vertical stripe running through the crest on the left side that is actually one of my favorite barcelona away kits but yeah, we can always discuss about the colors. This is one that I find a little bit more uh, bearable and actually smart. I also like usually the light green. I also liked what they did last year with the light blue. Uh, I know it would so make so much sense to have a white away jersey, but they will never do that. Uh, although there is white on your crest, you can make you can use this pattern maybe. Yep. Um, if you look on the back, same. We have the taping with the uh, uh, Sardinia. Serenera, I don't know now. Um, Catalan flag. Again, makes sense. Uh, and other than that, it's plain. But I actually like this quite a lot uh, for a Barcelona away jersey. And for that reason, I think now I'm going to stick with eight stars here too. But yeah, Barcelona has a good look this year. I'm happy about that after a little bit more crazy look last year. Uh, yeah, I wish the stripes on the home jersey were wider and then the last one that we're looking at now is and i only have the home kit um betis sevilla there is a third kit also for barcelona uh, but i don't have any nice leaked images yet so betis sevilla uh by kappa green and white stripes and i assume there will be a sponsor and uh, based on how crazy the sponsor is gonna be that can make or break the shirt Honestly, uh, the design itself is great. I, I like the kind of narrow stripes, a little bit like Barcelona, but I think for Betis Sevilla, if I look at the crest, it actually makes sense to have them um, as narrow. I also like the, the V-neck collar that even if it has this cutoff here, it actually kind of makes sense because you have this additional uh, green band around. The one thing I don't like is that uh, there's a, just a plain green on the sleeves, which kind of widens this... Um, green strap to the next to the shoulder that should have been white or just uh, omitted i know we already saw it with napoli too this was just a weird um it's just a weird look but overall i really like this one it's a great kappa shirt 
And I think, yeah, I would give this nine stars. Again, the sponsor can make or break this. Still waiting for the away jersey, third jersey. As I said, I will do now La Liga in four parts. I, for At first, there will be a fifth, probably a sixth part as well. Well, let me know what you thought about my thoughts. I'm sorry to go so harsh on Atletico Madrid. It's just they don't look good. Uh, Barcelona a little, little bit more lenient. Alaves was a little bit over the place. And yeah, I like Betis Sevilla a lot here. Again, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more of that, subscribe to my channel. And I will talk to you soon. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.